what's going on my friend this is jake of jjcastnetics.co.uk and of course if you're new to the channel then by all means i highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel and turn on post ding, notifications ding, ding. because if you're new to body training and castnetics then i'm going to do videos every monday and thursday specifically for people like you my friend all right so the first thing i feel that is very important to understand before starting calisthenics is understanding that progress is non-linear because you know when you start as a beginner whether it's being new to calisthenics or you know actually being new to fitness and exercising with strength training as a whole uh, your progress is going to be very very rapid you know it's going to feel amazing uh, your body's not used to the likes of push-ups pull-ups or squat variations so you're going to adapt to the exercise very quickly as it's almost like not just a strength building exercise it's also a skill based exercise so obviously the better you get at learning the skill the more you're going to adapt to it so that's where that neurological adaptation could be pretty quick in your early stages of calisthenics and so what i found with um clients who i've been working with for you know all the way up to a year is that it's almost like they feel almost discouraged with like even though they're making great progress obviously the last six months of the calisthenics journey hasn't been so uh rapid in terms of progress compared to their first six months and that's because you know progress is non-linear you know as you get stronger it becomes harder and harder to actually you know place a greater stimulus on your body over time in order to grow does that make sense and you'll find that as you progress whether it's going from you know getting to your first push-up and beyond to progressing onto more advanced variations within the push-up and planche push-ups and such it's like you'll find that as you get stronger it feels harder and harder as you progress because the strength curve increases so understanding that is uh, very good to understand so you don't have to beat yourself down so much where if you're not making the progress you like right if you're making progress week by week at the end of the day that's all you can ask for yourself you know so by all means keep moving forward and uh keep at it and so adding to that i feel one thing that's really important to know is obviously the difference between almost generalization focusing on like so many things at once so many goals at once versus like specialization where you're so concretely focused on your goals um obviously whether like whichever approach you take obviously your rate of progress is going to be dependent on that you know i mean if you focus on so many things at the same time so many goals trying to achieve let's say strength exercise within the chin-ups the push-ups the squats and trying to do the handstand and then trying to do the front splits and the middle splits everything at once obviously your progress is going to be very uh much slower because your focus is divided so why right spread thin you know what i mean uh, whereas if you have a very concrete level focus right um your progress is going to be much much um faster do you know what i mean i think um one reason why i was able to last year achieve a handstand so quickly within the space of three months was because it was my priority focus i did it at the start of every single workout and as a result of that singularity of focus um i achieved it much faster and now as that's on the back burner i don't actually train handstands anymore now prioritizing just a very few select number of strength building exercises uh, from my coach obviously there's a very big level of focus within those goals so i progress much faster by actually having less goals to focus on but obviously as you get more experience within calisthenics and strength training the rate of progress does slow down quite a lot and obviously to note about genetics you know i think um everyone is going to be at some genetical disadvantage it's always there's always going to be something about your body that you can be like oh man if only I was taller, if only I was shorter, if only I was thinner, if only I was wider, you know. Everyone's rate of progress is different because of their genetics, do you know what I mean? I think, you know, um, as I, I outlined in one of my previous Q&As, obviously if someone's taller, obviously if the lever's longer, then body weight is slightly harder. The same as if someone's heavier, whether it's their weight or um, including their bone density and such. And obviously, um, if they have a great resistance with their body weight weighing heavier, then their rate of progress may not be as fast as someone who's 50 pounds lighter than them. Do you get what I mean? If we take the planche as an example, you know, I think someone who, let's say, is six foot five, 200 pounds, um, working towards a planche, it's going to be a much harder progress or harder uh, journey than someone who's five foot five and 140 pounds. Do you see what I mean? So it's all about kind of just like, as I said, the singularity of focus of your goals and um, knowing that really your only competition is kind of yourself. I know it's, it's very cliche, but kind of having, again, that focus on your goals and just being, again, it's very cliche, like being the best version of yourself is really what matters most because other everyone else's progress is kind of like irrelevant to yours because you're kind of in your own lane. You want to stay in your own lane. Does that make sense? Now, following up from that, the second thing you really need to know before starting calisthenics is that you need a training plan, a training program in place. Do you get what I mean? Because if you fail to plan, plan to fail you can't just 
go into your workouts, like any day on the week, be like, I may work out this day, that day, and then you skip a week and then you do once. And then you go into your workouts, like I may try some push-ups and some pull-ups and squats and everything's kind of different. Honestly, you're not really gonna see much progress because random actions is gonna get random results, you know what I mean? You really need a clear structure in place of the days you're gonna work out in the week the exercise you're going to perform, the sets, the reps, the tempo, the rest time, and how you're actually going to progress from there. And obviously, if you want some help with that, um, I'll link in the description below my free beginner cast next program, which not only outlines a full comprehensive beginner routine you can follow at home with using just your body weight, but also covering nutrition and recovery as well. So having that in place, you can actually know what to do rather than be stagnant by trying to figure it out yourself. Now, the last point I want to cover in this video when it comes to starting cast next, well you should know before starting cast next, is the importance of maintaining a lean body weight. Do you know what I mean? I feel with traditional gym based methods, fitness methods nowadays of going of like how you should bulk up and kind of almost get a bit fluffy, right? To focus on building muscle mass in like the winter and then the summer you cut down, cut down your calories almost in half and then, you know, cut down and then you, so you reveal your abs and your muscle and all the muscle you gain from the Balkan season, full of summer, full of beach, full of ladies, or whatever you fancy, you know what I mean? Um, but running your body weight is kind of, you can't really take the same approach if your goal is body weight strength. You see what I mean? I think obviously if you're starting out in a place where you really want to gain some weight, as I did when I first started my fitness journey, or if you really want to lose some weight, want to focus primarily on fat loss, then that's obviously great. And it's something I highly encourage you to do. But once you get to a relatively low body fat, like let's say 10 to 15%, then that's really the most ideal, I'd say, when it comes to maximizing your strength with body weight and calisthenics. I think anything less or anything more, you really don't need to uh, put yourself in that state uh, based on what other type of traditional methods uh, encourage you to do so. Because I mean, when your primary goal is building body weight strength, whether it's achieving your first chin up or your first one arm chin up, right? Obviously, if you're already at a lean body weight, and you gain like two to five pounds of fat, like man, I've been there myself, it feels like someone's put a weight vest on you, right? When it's actually, your, it's only the fact that you've actually gained some fat. And honestly, if you're already at a lean body weight and you actually lose too much weight, then that, you know, caloric restriction is really gonna impact your energy levels. So you may actually lose some strength, even though your body weight is getting lighter, does that make sense? So whatever your goal is, my friend, whether it's to gain weight, lose weight, or even maintain weight, you know, I think, um, the best thing to go, the best way to go about is to take it slow and steady because obviously with fitness, it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? You've got to be this in for the long run rather than the short run and then end up burning out. You want to keep on going and making that continuous ongoing progress. See what I mean? So as I said, by applying these tips and really following these uh, three concepts I've highlighted in this video, then really for you, especially if you're beginning your own calisthenics and bodyweight journey, then uh, you'll really have now the proper foundation of knowing exactly what to do and what to focus on without having to spend any more time I'm stagnating and you know not knowing what to do without the you know proper guidance because that's what I'm here for my friend I'm here to serve you the best way possible and so with that said if you have any more questions in regards to you know starting calisthenics or anything within your own health and fitness in that realm then um, of course you can by all means send me a DM in the link in the description below and I'd love to chat interact with you and answer any questions you'd like because exactly that's what I'm here for I'm not just here to make videos for you I'm also here to serve you the best way possible so uh, yeah as I said that'll be in the description below um, um, to DM me and uh, we can start a conversation, right? So uh, yeah, if you enjoy this video, you like my content, you enjoy watching every single minute, every single second of this video, then make sure to give this video a cheeky thumbs up and comment down below. What I'd love to know is what you found most helpful with this video. And also if you have any tips for, you know, other members aboard the Gains Train Express and concepts to know before starting Cast Next, feel free to comment that down below because not only will I find it valuable, uh, everyone else will find it valuable as well. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this with a friend or friends you believe would benefit from these gains. And as that's enough for me today, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, my friend, and as a crew member of the Gainstra Express, keep moving forward.